Hello and welcome everybody to Cap President. A more perfect union. I have never played this game before. Well, that's a lie. I have played it up to a certain point, and that certain point is up to naming yourself, because then I realized I shouldn't progress beyond this point. Anyway, let's begin. I never dreamed I would get involved in politics. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I'm just a plain Janey, nobody. I've never even voted before. Well, you... That would be why you're not involved in politics. But somehow I found myself sworn by presidential candidates and they all wanted me to be their campaign manager. Which one should I choose? They're all such good options. I can't pick which one. Well, you pick the one who's going to give you the most money, because freak everything else. It's money that matters. Oh, well, but should I back up and first explain how I got this situation? Yeah, we kind of want to know the plot. You don't want to put a pull of FNAF and do a one before two. It all started last week. I heard someone calling my name at the park. And what's my name again? Yeah, you see, I came up with quite a funny name. It's called Kid Dinapper. Do not remove the space. See? Space. Oh! The police will get involved. <laughs> That's my best friend. Lizzie. Lizzie, do you prefer light Lizzie's? And I don't mean the hot dog that I have. What is it, Lizzie? I don't know what it is. Would you like to shove a Lizzie down your. Oh. Did you hear that? Thanks, man. I got us tickets. So you're telling me you went bankrupt? A debate, what about? Gosh, you don't know the president? Show debates. Can't wait for that. Oh, the president. Is he too close to the out? Yeah, she's so cool. I like her. What's she going to, to debate? I don't know, actually, the debate is for the president to continue running to replace Daisy to the one she leaves off since they're all six of them on top. They're all going to debate for names like Farm Policy and Kevin. So essentially, they're going to debate yarn and drugs. Also, there's a dog in charge of the government, but a female dog is called a bitch. So could you say technically there's a bitch in charge of the government? Yeah. Plus, they're all adorable. I want to hug and pet each one. That ma'am? I'm pretty sure in 2023 could get you a sexual assault charge, but only if they're women. But since women don't get present on this point, we probably could have said something about this earlier. You are the most generic-esque design for a friend ever. Twenty years ago, the government got so corrupt that the Supreme Court decided to ban all humans from politics now the only. Politicians only have his cats. I know it sounds crazy, but the government is a lot more efficient. It's kind of ludicrous, actually. It's pretty ludicrous if you ask me. I don't know. Who got? Don't worry, you got one. Yes, I will. And it will be great. If you don't, I'll never forgive you. Why should I care about your opinion? Your opinion is worthless. You're, you need to see a dentist. I don't trust people with bad dental care. Tutorial on this game, you'll occasionally be asked if this could have this response. It's just care for the albums you can go home and the other operations. Isn't this how most visual novels run? Most of them run with you picking options. Ah, the typical woman response is either yes or definitely. I love the cats again. I hope to see them finally go by one like it. Are you coming to the bait or what? Yes, and I'm not going because of you and your bad dental care. I love cats. I can't wait to see them. Me neither. This will be so much. Um.
the round in our distance or something or how far I decided to explore the maybe see if I could find a bathroom. <laughs> It wasn't long before I got lost. Motherfucker, oh, how you get lost in a goddamn... There's like... Five rooms. There's the hallway one, hallway two, entrance, debate room, and bathroom. How you get lost? Oh, this place is like a maze. How are you supposed to find your way? Where do they go? Do they need signs or something? This is what happens when you get to people. Not even people, this is where you get when you elect things that don't know the English language into office. After wondering around for a few minutes, I found a fancy looking door. Nice. Stepped inside, but no one was there. Graphics. Top notch. Graphics. Empty, I guess we'll try another room. I beg your pardon. Wait, I missed the speech of dialogue. No. I never read so and so and so. Wait, I think I read that. But wait, let me recall my memory. Didn't it was like something like, oh, what's a cat? Something, I don't know. I've never been to Unsolved so Tomorrow, if you think I'm a common street kid, how dare you talk to me like that? Well, I'm sorry, sir, I don't know you were a talking cat. Hey, my friend, you have two sets of hair! You trying to be cool or something? Hip, get on the wig? I should probably get voices. This one's a Karen, so I'm gonna give it a voice. Voice. I'm just gonna use my monotone-esque voice for our character, our woman character, and Ignorance of the lies, no excuse. I will actually, I should have security throughout immediately. This looks like one of the friends that cats, actually. Well, now don't be so mean. A cute girl comes wandering in here and try to have her kicked out. That's not what I would do. Are you trying to commit riz? Yeah, I like your style. Good graphics. Your style's having half of your hairs look like Shadow Realm spell attacks. I'm a wizard, Harry. My style? Oh yeah, you snuck all the way back to made us as pretty brave of you. You know a lot about being brave considering half of your hairs are freaking Shadow Realm attacks. I like you. Well, kind of like, though, because that's very important. Where'd my back say that means? Oh my gosh, you're the three presidential candidates. Yes, that would be me. Bingo, I'm frisky, and may I say, it's a pleasure to meet a beautiful woman like yourself. The cow left game is also because I said I don't know what to make of it. Riz. I'm gonna name it's a it's the Rizzler. It's a wizard, Harry. What voice should I give this guy? I don't know. Um DJ Nibbles. Yeah, I'm gonna give him that. I'm DJ Nibbles. Yeah, that voice sits very well. I'm DJ Nibbles. I'm the young cute candidate. More like the... Actually, more like the empty-headed kitten who keeps rushing into danger. You have a second set of hair. Your opinion is worth it. It's garbage. Your opinion is about as important as that glass wall. You're about as useful as the Polish submarine. I can't help that if some... I can't help that sometimes I get into trouble. I'm naturally curious. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, 
actually forbid you me for talking about stupidity, you still have a second set of hair. You have a second set of hair. A second set of hair. I don't know what voice to give you. And then, grumpy orange voice between us is Thunderball. He only seems to be upset over something. Not true, I'll be happy when you losers drop out of the race. Life is a race, everybody. And you, in fact, are the racists. I'm not gonna drop. I'm not gonna drop out, I'm in it to win it. So, darling, you didn't tell it. So, darling, you didn't tell us your name. Summon Wizard here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. My name is Kidapper. Do not remove the space. Well, Kidapper, why don't you come with me for a little while? I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Why is that text red? Did you just start screaming at me halfway? Oh, the eyes closed, of course. You want me? You want to be alone with me? So I can lead you back to the auditorium area, of course. Hey, Frisky, don't keep on guest all to yourself. Let me help our guy back to her seat. Have you two forgotten the bean stars in 45 minutes? You don't have time to be escorting random humans all over the place. You obviously don't have the mindset of procrastinating. You see, 45 minutes is the essential of three years, actually. You gotta wait till at least 10 minutes, and even then you might be consumed before you start writing that essay. And I'll call security and they'll have you removed from the premises. Man, it's a 3v1. I got this cat and this cat and myself versus you. If we each take off one leg, you will only have one leg to stand on, and I don't think the candidates want disabled people in charge. Based on other America. Um, no, it's okay, I think I can find the way myself. Are you sure? I want my help. I'm sure you focus on the great stuff. Goodbye, kid. Nice meeting, yeah. I got out of that room as quickly as I could. I can't believe I accidentally interrupted with that person. What kind of goofball does that? Me. I decided to get back to the seat as quickly as possible. I ended up running into more cats. Oh. Uh. Talk to your graphics, like I said. Uh oh. Hey, humans aren't allowed back here. I'm so sorry I got lost. I don't know how to get back to my seat. I understand this always can be pretty confusing sometimes. The voice is the way I gave you two. Wait, where's the sixth cat? There were. It showed on the. Like, title six to choose from. But you got five cats that have appeared to make a pentagram. The six cats that even is a trap. This whole auditorium's a trap. Yeah, the first time I was here, I was chasing my tail flowers. You always do that. So you're not mad at me for being in the off-limits area? No, we're not mad. These sorts of things happen. The door you're looking for is the third one on the right. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Kadapa. By the way, who are you? I kind of left nodded his head as he answered. I'm Elvis Tibbers Cal the third. We can call me Cal. Okay, just because you're royalty and you have a heritage, I'm going to make you British. The ultimate insult. Nice to meet you, Cal. Are you also running for president? Oh, I certainly am, although most people say I should drop out because I'm last in the polls. <laughs> sure, okay, at least you made it all the way into the debates. This time the count kind of the right was the one who spoke So you're British, and you're not. Okay, Mr. British. I'm Dr. Nom Noms. This is the doctor that all those obese people get assigned. They're just like, you go, girl, you keep eating. 
hawks are pulling very well at the moment. If it wasn't for the helicos, I'd probably be out of, out of the running. Oh, you both seem like very nice cats. I'm gonna make you, like, have a super high-pitched voice for absolutely no reason. We'll boost your popularity. Maybe the bay will boost your popularity. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm lucky to be here tonight. I, I'm just hoping to debate the issues and do the best for my ally cats. I the cats are gay now. That's the only time I've heard about anyone. The cats are kind of gay now. Well, that's just a joke. Thank you both very much for helping me. If I could vote for both of you, I would. No, I wouldn't. That's very kind of you to say. Now let's talk about what happened on 9-11. Please, enjoy the debate tonight. Some boy cat. I followed their directions made back to the sea, alright. You got... You got handcuffs for earrings. Phew, finally made it. Kadapper, where were you? You'd never believe me even if I had told you. You have to tell me later the show is about to start. Did I really spend, like, 40 minutes talking to two cats? My life is truly worthless. Wait. They said humans weren't allowed to run. Zoom in. What are those? Oh yeah, milk. Wait a second. After that, the moderator came on stage and explained the debate rules to the audience. The rules were pretty simple. Clap whenever there is a response you like, but no one to open his beats. And now cat call. And on that note, I'll wrap it things up today. And, uh... Support if you want, like, subscribe, and uh, goodbye.